Hey guys, I'm Jay the Valley Vet Supply. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about capture guns today. Um, kind of answer a lot of the more frequent questions that we, we get in. Um, we're kind of going to just start off with uh, two main differences between the guns. Um, this gun right here um, is the CO2 propelled dart gun, whereas this one uses 22 blanks. Um, you know, we, we kind of prefer this one that used the 22 blanks. It's, it's a lot more accurate, a lot more consistent with its shots, but it's also a lot more expensive. So um, I guess for right now, we're gonna just start off by with how to actually load the guns and, and how they actually work. Um, we'll start with a CO2 propelled one. With this one, basically, right under the, the main barrel here, You'll un unscrew this little sleeve, and that's where your CO2 goes. You'll drop your little CO2 tank in there, um, nose first, and screw that back on, and only get it hand tight. If you take a screwdriver or pliers and you really crank down on it, um, you, can, you can ruin the seals that are inside, and then you'll have to get a rebuild kit right away. But after you get that tightened up, then your bolt, you're just gonna take it out, then you'll load your dart right through the back right here. And then you'll just slide your bolt right back in. Um, to cock it, there's this little deal right here. There's three clicks. The first click really means, means nothing. Um, the second click, that's going to be your short range. If you're using a real light dart or if you can get really close to your animals. If it's gonna be a little bit more of a longer range, say more near you know, 15 to 30 yard shots, you wanna pull it all the way back. And then it does have your safety. Just take it off to safety and fire it. Okay. When it comes to the 22 caliber one, you got your two triggers. You'll take your four trigger and that's how you open it up. Then you have this collar here Anyway, this pulls directly straight out. What you'll do is take your dart, you'll shove it right in the back, and take your collar, and you can see here on this collar, it has that little black deal. That's what um, is actually your ejector for your 22 caliber, and it has a perfect notch where it fits into. So you'll shove that directly in. Then you'll take your little 22 charge, stick it in here, then cock it and fire it. To eject the shell, you'll pull the collar out and just turn it to the side and push down, and that's what will kick your shell out. These right here, the clear plastic ones, are your disposable one-time use only darts, and these aluminum ones, they are reusable darts. So we'll kind of start with this disposable one. It uses the pressure from the gun when the gun actually fires to charge the dart. So basically what you're going to do is we have these extra long loading needles that you'll just put on your own normal little syringe. You'll draw out your antibiotic and then this needle goes inside of the dart needle. Be sure you push the, the needle all the way down inside of the dart. If you don't get it past this white collar here, it'll try to spit back out at you. Then you'll just fill it up all the way to the top of that white collar. You'll take your little red cap. You have to have these. Take that and you'll slide it right over the needle like that. Then you'll put it in the gun and fire it. Then when the, when the dart actually hits the animal, this is a soft rubber, it'll pierce right through it and slide all the way down. And as soon as it pierces through that red cap, that's what in, lets it inject. When it comes to the reusable darts, you have your, your tail feather, your needle, and then your dart shaft. You're going to take your little, um, I guess your little blank, and there are two, there's different blanks um, for the different size of darts. Uh, there's one size of blanks that go from a 1 to 3 cc, then there's a 4 to 10 cc, then your 15 and 20 cc darts. But to load it, you can see on the dart, one side has a little primer cap that you can kind of move around. 
The other side is machined completely smooth. The smooth side goes into your plunger, just like that. Then you'll take that and shove it all the way down inside of your dart. Then just screw the tail feather on. Just get it snug. Don't worry about over tightening it too much. Then you'll measure out your, your vaccine antibiotic and just fill it up, up to the bottom of the threads inside of here. Then screw your needle on, then put it in the gun and shoot it. When the dart hits the animal, that's going to set that charge off inside here, which will inject it.